Okay, so you have recently installed TIA Portal version 14 and are very excited to explore and work with the new version. But when you try to open up the previous projects that you created with version 13, you'll see an error like this. In this video, you're going to learn why you're getting this error. And then you'll learn a very simple step-by-step -step process on how to fix it. Stay tuned. Before we get started on today's video, if you love our videos, be sure to click the like button below. Then make sure to click subscribe and the little bell to receive notifications of new RealPars videos. This way, you never miss another one. Okay, so this is TIA Portal version 14 that I have recently installed on my computer. Now, since I have not created any projects with this new version, I need to open up the previous projects that I have already created with the TIA Portal version 13. To do that, after opening up the software, I'll click on Browse here to find the old project file on my computer and then open it up. Here is the project file that I've previously created using Step 7, version 13. And now I need to open it up in version 14. To do that, I'll select the file first and then hit Open here. But, as you can see, instead of opening up the project, it gives me this error here. Now, let's first see why I'm getting this error here. As I mentioned before, this project is created on TIA Portal version 13. Now, TIA Portal version 14 is only able to open up the projects that are created in version 13 Service Pack 1. Yes, version 14 is not able to open up version 13's projects, but it can open up version 13 Service Pack 1's project without any problem. Now, you may ask, is TIA Portal version 13 different from version 13 Service Pack 1? The answer is yes, my friend. TIA Portal version 13 is different from version 13 Service Pack 1. Why? Because there are new features in Service Pack 1 that do not exist in the previous version. So here we have version 13, version 13 Service Pack 1, and then version 14. Now you may say, I've installed all the updates for version 13. Do I still need to install Service Pack 1 as well? The answer again is yes. Even if you've installed all the updates for version 13, your software is still different from version 13 Service Pack 1. So you need to download Service Pack 1 and install it on your computer. We'll put a link for downloading Service Pack 1 in the description below this video. Version 14 can easily open up the projects that are created in version 13 Service Pack 1. But cannot open up version 13 projects. So that's why I'm not able to open up this project here. Now, what should I do to fix this? Well, to fix this, what I need to do is to simply upgrade this old project from TIA Portal version 13 to version 13 Service Pack 1. When I do that, I'll be able to easily open that up in TIA Portal version 14 as well. Now, to upgrade my old project, I first need to install version 13 Service Pack 1 on my computer. As you can see, I have already installed this software. As a matter of fact, 
I have both version 13 Service Pack 1 and version 14 installed on this computer with Windows 10 operating system. Please note that when you already have version 13 installed on your computer and then you install version 13 Service Pack 1, there won't be an additional icon for Service Pack 1 on your desktop, but instead, the previous version 13 shortcut icon will work for Service Pack 1 as well. Now, I'll open up version 13 Service Pack 1 here. When the Start window here opens up, I'll click on Browse here and then go to the exact location where my old project is saved. The same project that I could not open up with version 14. OK, here is the project. Now, I'll select the project and then click Open here. By doing this, this window here pops up and says, This project was saved with version 13, and then asks if I want to upgrade that to version 13, Service Pack 1. I'll say yes, and as you can see, it immediately starts upgrading my old project. Next, it says I need to compile each device that I have in the project as well. I'll hit OK, and then, as you can see, it upgrades and opens up the project for me here. Now, if I get back the project folder, you'll see that a new project with the suffix of Service Pack 1 is created for me here. Now, I can easily open up this upgraded project using version 14. To do that, I'll first close this project in Service Pack 1, as I'm not able to have a project open in two software at the same time. Then, I'll go back to version 14. Click Browse here, find the project on my computer, and then open that up. This time, unlike the previous time, there won't be any error, and the software starts opening up my project. Now, for me to be able to work on this project in the version 14, the project needs to be upgraded again. So I upgraded this project once from version 13 to version 13 Service Pack 1. And now I need to upgrade that again. But this time from version 13 Service Pack 1 to version 14. I'll hit OK here for the software to start upgrading my project again. Just like the previous upgrade, here it reminds me that I need to compile each device that I have in the project in order to complete the upgrade. I'll click OK, and as you can see, the software starts opening up this project for me here. Now I can click on Write PLC Program and then double click on any of these programming blocks here to go to the programming environment in TIA Portal version 14. So the reason I could not open up my old project was because there was an extra layer of version between these two software, meaning I wanted to jump straight from version 13 to version 14. Now, I know that to be able to open up my old projects, that were created in TIA Portal version 13, I first need to upgrade them to Service Pack 1 and then to version 14. If I go straight from version 13 to 14, things won't work the way it should. OK, there you have it. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like this video. This keeps us motivated to continue creating high-quality training videos like this, and also helps other PLC programmers like you 
to find this video more easily on YouTube. Yep, just a simple like will do all of that good stuff. If you're new to the Real Pars channel here on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button below and the little bell thingy to stay up to date with the latest and greatest PLC programming tips and tricks. Also, share this video with your friends and colleagues on Facebook and LinkedIn if you think they'll find this useful. Thanks again for watching. Leave your questions and comments, and we'll chat with you soon. Want to learn PLC programming in an easy to understand format and take your career to the next level? Head on over to realpars.com.